Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Um, we're back on... I done forgot what part we're on. I think, I don't know, maybe it was three. I'm not sure. But we're back on the Enduro. Turn in be a lot more bubble used than I ever thought possible. But uh, we're coming along. So uh, she's starting kind of, sort of, just a little bit to look like an outboard. So uh, still got a long way to go, but uh, I'll show you what we got so far. Then I got to finish cleaning up the Caba de Neda, you honestness. I have it in the ultrasonic cleaner. I have had a lot of people ask me what is the solution I use the potion to the motion in the ultrasonic cleaner. What I like to use is about one quarter cup of Blue Dawn dishwashing liquid and a cup of Simple Green and I think my ultrasonic here holds about a gallon and a half. A gallon and a quart. Something like that. So that's my solution. I keep it simple. It seems to work okay. Um, I have. I've had a few people uh, comment. Have you ever tried pine saw and stuff? I have, and it, it works good. So, but let's look at this. This here Yamaha. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The room up in here. Up in here. Ratty, oh ratty, oh ratty. Little on. Got a little washer. Don't worry, I'll pick it up. in there too. My well, my well. My well is mine. Okay. Not. 
Oh. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on that bottom clamp. This goes on there somehow. <laughs> so, we've got this little bracket here that clamps it in on the bottom. And then this is just a cover thing. I'll paint that after I do it. That bracket. So, I got a thing. I got a thing. How's this one? I think it does. Too tight. Too tight. But now I can get it on this engine stand. At least I think I think I think I can. Here a little bit, and a bit. So I got an engine stand. We're gonna try and get it back on this engine stand. Not easy on me. Mustache. Mr. Brackett, let's give you a shot. Gentle with the tiller on, Mr. Brackett. Oh, that's going to be so much easier now. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a whole lot easier. No, it is. This other bolt in there. Slather it up. Then we'll have to t -t 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 turn it, I think. Where's it going at? Yeah. So we turn it like so. Oh yeah, this is the one I had to turn and tilt a little bit. I can't remember I had to tilt it down. Oh. I might be able to tap that in. Might be able to tap that in. So if I tilt it up, is hurts it so I need to tilt it down. Oop. Can't do that. There we go. Jim. We're getting close. Why do they do things like that to me? That's as far as it'll turn out to me. I'm pretty sure it's as far down as she'll go. So Wonder. 
this thing off, I might be able to get enough clearance. Take this out. hitting on the transom deal there. It won't turn anymore. You know, afraid I'm gonna bend or break something. I don't think I can tilt it up with that there. Maybe that's what I needed to did. <coughs> Maybe now I get the clearance. You get the clearance. I got it. I got it. Sometimes. Sometimes. And a roller. I'm gonna get a nut in the washer. The nuts in the washer. And I got it started. I got it started. It's harder than it looks. Na 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 Wait I get a small Small fun Not so big fun I think that's you. That's you. Okay. I don't know if you remember, but these two big bolts that I brought through the front to hold the tiller bracket on had these big rubber boots covering the nut and everything inside. So I'm going to lather them up with anises real good in the boot. And slip them back on there. Yeah, right. Slip them back on. Huh? Yeah. Actually, not too bad. <laughs> there we go. So they're in there now. I show you. I show you. Hey, these. One, two, uno dos. So we uno dos them back on. <laughs> Link of Majinkies. Link of Majinkies. Link of Majinkies. This is the fun part. Where'd you come from? Home oh, from there. I know where that goes. Let's get a bunch of anesthesia on this shift rod, huh? Cause me all them headaches. Shift lever. Should I say? There we go. This has to come all the way in to there, as far as I know. That won't work. That will work. Yeah. Let's get you out of my way. Yeah. Make sure that's my forward to be neutral and be reversed. As far as I understand. Where's that hole? So there's the hole. Need to get me a screw. 
scribe, I think, and scribe that so I can see exactly how that hole lines up. Might have did something, might have didn't. can do that. It will work right there. So I'll get a roll pin and put in there. This exhaust tube thingy and all that. It must be where it goes. Slide in there, I'm gonna put a little tennessees on that too. You know, you know. Slide in there. And we got a couple of bolts. If I can lift you up so you can see what I'm doing or not doing as it might be. There. I just put this in. Can we bang down on it? Then we got a couple of bolts and, a, and some grease on there. I said, Nini. I said, Nini. Right in the center. Oh, what size and things were them? Tins? No, I think they're just tins. I think they're just tins. We found out. That's what they are. There you go. So that's there. Now. Okay. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Ah. We put the head on. Oh. Let's look at this. This here Yamaha. Like I said, it's starting to look like a motor a little bit. Oh yeah. Get you lowered down here. Well, this thing, this tripod of mine, ain't cutting it off. That's why. So she's starting to look like an outboard there. Got the power head back on. Here's my new angle bracket and uh, or tiller bracket so got the power head bolt back on but these cables I'm looking at them they're not in the best shape so I'll probably have to replace them and uh, but for right now we're going to get back on the carburetor and get it cleaned up and then I'll deal, deal with the tiller and the rest of the linkage and so forth which ain't a lot but that's what we're going to do all righty all righty all righty i uh i got the linkage hooked up my throttle cables are all working now got them ran right up under here where they're supposed to go but now i got a bolt on the tiller handle 
and you can see all this white stuff right here. Look at the salt, baby. <laughs> salt is just amazing. Places it can get into, the damage it do, the damage it do. Get as much as you can out. There we go. Get in there. See all that coming out of there? having that in your outbows. Alright. And let's put a bunch of animal geese on there. Anti-geese. Put it everywhere. Slather it. On my new brackets. Now. We can get ready to put my shims and all my j -j -j shims. Okay, so steadily making progress on the Enduro 40 horsepower, two cylinder single cob, you understand. So we've got, uh, like I said, I got a source of bolt, a tiller bolt. I'll just have to dig around until I find one that fits and everything, get that tiller handle bolted till her arm bolted back on to the new bracket I put on. But uh, I've got most of the wiring hooked back up. I've got the shift link hooked back up and figured out. Fuel pump and whatever else I did. Um, but she's coming along. Hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. Um, so it's getting late. I'm getting hungry. So that's going to be a wrap. That is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.